kindness and love will open the heart of any problem boy. That heart will melt within the warmth of the sunshine of love. I have really never found a boy who wanted to be bad. In 1917, a young immigrant priest from Ireland had grown discouraged in his work with transient homeless men in Omaha, Nebraska. So in December 1917, Father Edward J. Flanagan borrowed $90 from a friend to pay the rent on a drafty downtown boarding house that became his first home for boys who had no one to care for them. This revolutionary home welcomed all boys regardless of their race or religion. Father Flanagan and his boys faced hard times. It was just after World War I, and food and money were in short supply. There was no shortage of boys, however, and by spring, 100 needy, delinquent, or orphan boys were living at the home. In 1921, again using borrowed money, Father Flanagan purchased Overlook Farm, which became the permanent site of his boys' home, soon to be known as Boys Town. While the home continued to struggle financially, the lives of Father Flanagan's boys were rich with success. News of Father Flanagan's work spread worldwide with the success of the 1938 movie Boys Town, starring Mickey Rooney and Spencer Tracy. Tracy won an Academy Award for his portrayal of Father Flanagan and later donated his Oscar to the priest. Boys Town continued to grow in stature and size, and after World War II, President Truman called on Father Flanagan to take his message of love for children to the world. His travels took him to Asia, where he saw the destruction of the war and the children left behind. He visited Ireland, worked in support of establishing the nation of Israel, and met with leaders of our nation and of nations throughout the world. His final trip took him to Europe in 1948. By this time, the stress of extended travel had taken its toll. The world pays tribute to Father Flanagan, founder, father, and counselor of Boys Town. The flag flies at half-mast before the Chapel of the Immaculate Conception. This is the heart of the little city that Father Flanagan built on the outskirts of Omaha for homeless boys of all colors and creeds. Young citizens of the unique community file somberly past the casket of their friend. Now in its 27th year, Boys Town grew from Father Flanagan's faith in young men. Given a home, useful training, recreation, and friendship, the most unlikely lad he thought could become a useful citizen. When he died, his dreams did not die with him. Hello, I'm Father Stephen Bass, the National Executive Director of Boys Town and the caretaker of Father Flanagan's dream. Here in the village of Boys Town and at sites across America, Father Flanagan's spirit lives on as we continue the monumental task of saving children and healing families. In his day, Father Flanagan took in orphaned, hungry, and neglected kids and gave them a home. But the boys and girls who come to us today often need so much more. They've suffered terribly in their young lives. They've learned not to trust or love anyone and not to let anyone love them. They are angry, depressed, hurt, and hopeless. They've given up on themselves because they believe everyone has given up on them. At Boys Town, one of the most important things we do for our boys and girls is to make a home for them in our hearts. We make sure they're safe and we give them love. We help them to learn how to rebuild their self-worth and their trust in others. We welcome these children into Father Flanagan's loving family and accept and care for them as if they were our own. Father Flanagan was right. When a child is valued and loved, he or she can do amazing things at Boys Town, miracles of the heart happen every day.
The Village of Boys Town, Nebraska remains the flagship of our organization and the national headquarters for Boys Town programs across the country. Here, as many as 550 boys and girls live in about 70 treatment family homes. Specially trained married couples, called family teachers, live in each home full time, with up to eight boys or girls of diverse ages, races, and religious and cultural backgrounds. These children often have serious emotional and behavioral problems. Many have long histories of failure at home, in school, and in other placements before they come to Boys Town. But here, their new extended family helps them experience love and stability, teaches them life skills and spiritual values, and provides a safe, caring community where they can live and grow. The hallmark of our boys and girls is courage, the courage to find healing, hope, and a better life. This courage is found not only in the village of Boys Town, but also at our 12 national sites located across the United States. Boys Town may be more than 90 years old, but we're not showing our age. We take great pride in being a national leader in child and family care, and we're constantly looking for new and better ways to help those who are in greatest need. Our integrated continuum of care sets us apart, providing a tightly linked spectrum of services that ensures kids and families receive the right care at the right time in the right way. Every service level of the continuum is based on the research-proven Boys Town model. From boys and girls with the most severe behavioral problems to children and families that just need a helping hand to overcome problems that threaten their stability, the Integrated Continuum's unique approach provides life-changing care with the same expectations for positive results. Much of our work today focuses on keeping troubled families together, reuniting families that have separated, and finding families for children who just can't live in their homes anymore. We accomplish this through in-home and foster care programs and useful resources that help families help themselves before problems turn into a crisis. Whenever possible, our goal is to help kids stay with or return to their families where they belong. Boys Town reaches out to save children and heal families in many other ways. Since opening in 1989, the toll-free Boys Town National Hotline has received nearly 8 million calls. Designed especially for children and parents, the hotline provides direct assistance or resource information to thousands of callers every month. Professional counselors answer crisis calls 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, year-round. The hotline also offers a website, yourlifeyourvoice.org, where teens can discuss and get advice on the challenges they may be facing. The Boys Town National Research Hospital in Omaha provides a wide range of medical and surgical services, including special expertise in hearing and speech problems or other communication disorders. The research program at the hospital seeks improved diagnostic and treatment techniques for use with young children. In fact, the hospital is a world leader in research of Usher's syndrome. Besides serving the health needs of Boys Town youth, the hospital also provides care in the community at more than 10 pediatric clinics in Omaha. Every year, Boys Town programs touch the lives of more than one million people nationwide. Inspired by Father Flanagan's dream and supported by hundreds of thousands of donors throughout the world, we carry on our struggle against abuse and neglect, school failure, handicapping disorders, and the many other problems that plague our children's lives. Our mission? Changing the way America cares for children, families, and communities by providing and promoting an integrated continuum of care that instills Boys Town values to strengthen body, mind, and spirit. Our vision is to serve as America's beacon of healing and hope for children and families. Our goal is to save even more children and heal even more families in the years to come. Every child who comes to us is special. Each one is a unique individual with his or her own story of heartbreak and dreams of a better tomorrow. Boys Town lifts them up heals their wounds, and saves them, one child at a time. The road is long, with a man.